Hey, uh, we haven't done any, let me turn the light on. There you go. We haven't done any vlogging on our trip. Uh, we talked to you about on Monday that we would do some vlogging from our trip. Uh, we are about halfway through. Uh, it is mid-morning on Saturday. The wedding that we're going to is um, it's this afternoon. And then, of course, there'll be a reception. Uh, and then we're going to head out back to the house. About a six-hour drive. Sometime, at, from, sometime afternoon. Um, on Sunday, I guess. And uh, hopefully, see, there you go. Uh, so we're just hanging out here um, on Saturday afternoon. Just had a little lunch, which was dinner last night. And we'll tell you all about that. We'll tell you all about that over the course of the week. Ah, what, we, what we haven't been good at is turning the camera on. We're getting better. <laughs> we did get lost. We did. We did. We got a little lost. Turned turned around here in Pensacola um, yesterday afternoon, Friday afternoon. Um, rush hour traffic, all that stuff. So um, hopefully um, today it won't, it won't be as bad. And uh, we got a, a a very cool, very touching story um, to tell you about what we're doing here and how it affects the people that uh, that we've come to. Um, come to officiate so it's pretty cool all right we'll try to add this and get back to you in a little bit thanks all right well i officiated the wedding and they're officially married and now it's time for the reception which fortunately is in the same place so we don't have to have to drive uh, we've got a surprise for them uh, for the bride anyway and i'm going to go work on that Right now. Yeah, that's good. Hey, we're here. It took a, took a bit. Sorry. Good morning. Complicated stuff. We're back. I'm not the technical person. So. And neither am I. <laughs> so we're so, so we're in a world of hurt sometimes. <laughs> so we're neither am I. He's the technical uh, not so much. Uh, but in any case, welcome back. We we told you that we weren't going to do a show last Monday because. The Saturday before we were in Pensacola doing something I thought was really Very special. special. Uh, I was I got to officiate the wedding of one of my uh, former private flu students, and um, we were with them basically Friday, Saturday, and then we came back Sunday. And uh, there was no way that was going to happen, and it wasn't going to happen this week for sure. If time had changed, I'd still be sleeping. But anyway, we're here. Well, we had a time change last week. Too. We did. <laughs> Because the time is different in Pensacola than it is in Tampa. Yeah, why? In the same state. Why? Because <laughs> it's a little further over. It's and, closer. To and how confusing it must be when the time changes. Yes. Imagine working in one time zone and then living in the other. You could have, Two yesterday, left your house and got to work at the same time, or vice mm -hmm. versa. Mm -hmm. You could have left work at 9.30 and ended up at home at 10, at, at 9.30. It's crazy. But in any case, maybe maybe we'll fix that. It was very interesting. It was fun. But I'm hoping that the time change, when now that we are in this time, that we stay in this time and don't change it anymore. Yeah, just leave it alone. Lock, hashtag lock the clock. Um, that would be fabulous. That would be wonderful. As far as I'm concerned, um, but anyway, um, we promised the um, the couple that we married that we would give them some postgraduate training because we found out something really, really, really touching. cool when we were there. Um, I had not had a chance. I mean, they had not had a chance to have any traditional counseling before marriage, and they had been using this uh, this th our YouTube videos our, our YouTube videos as their marriage counseling. That was really cool. That was really touching. Yes. Um, so we it promised them. Nearly brought us to tears yeah, it was right there. Really That's, sweet. You never know whose life you are touching. When yeah. God tells you to do something, do it. Just go ahead and do it. Because He's doing it for a reason. 
Yes, and you may not have, and and we, we mentioned this before. You may not have all the all the stuff. You may not have all the high tech stuff. Lighting, lighting. The, the, the lighting here is so janky right now. I can't studio. Tell you. The studio. You may not have all that stuff. You may have the. You may not have the perfect camera and all that kind of stuff. Uh, however, um, just, use what you ha what just, he's given you so far. That's what. That's how you do it. And you will progress. And that's how you do it. In any case, so um, what we did, we promised them that they they, they would have. Some postgraduate training um, that they 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 had they had started and they were going to get married because I was going to make sure they get married and we did and um, now beautiful they would have couple. Some, hmm? beautiful couple oh sweet kids kids thirties and forties but kids yeah, they're kids to us sweet kids um, they would they would have some post um, um, graduate training and um, that's what we we're, we're going to do today you know what you're married now what. Because a lot, of, you know, a lot of people don't have the, the either the resources or the family or the whatever to know what to do to next. Help them make there's, it through. Because there's some pra there are, and we talk a lot about uh, about you know what uh, relational stuff. But there's some practical things after the marriage that you have to do. Some practical things. Um, some of them are doing the post wedding stuff. Do the post wedding stuff. Make sure all your vendors are paid. Uh, you know, m make sure you send out your thank you notes. It's my thought that that both the uh, the husband and the wife should sign the thank you notes because both people got no matter where they came from, both of you will get benefit of, of that toaster some twenty years later. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story behind that. Julia. There yes. Is. <laughs> um, yeah. So we didn't buy a toaster for twenty years, something like that, right? Something like that. It's we crazy. had enough toasters <laughs> to last two, a lifetime. We two. We two toasters. And they, we've bought a toaster sister, haven't we? We bought a toaster about two years ago. Something like that. Thirty-two years. We bought one toaster. Not bad. Uh, um, but um, both of you thank, both of you write the thank you notes, that kind of stuff. Um, and then go on a honeymoon. The honeymoon is important for for a couple of reasons. Not just that dirty guy, but the. Um, <laughs> No, well, the the, the, the honeymoon is important because now that the, the craziness of the plan, of the wedding planning is over, all that stuff's over. So it's a, a vacation from it's, the stress. It's time to reconnect. Mm -hmm. It's time to reconnect as a couple because when when all that wedding planning going is going on, it's cra I know it's crazy and it just seems out of control. It sort of takes a life onto itself. Mm -hmm. Well, it just sort of takes a life onto itself. Like that's the main thing. It's time to get to know that person once again without the stress. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> so, so that's another reason why the um, why the honeymoon is. That's another reason why the honeymoon is, is is super important. It gives you that that time to reconnect and to maybe talk about some of the things that we're going to talk about now. Um, do, do do me a favor. Yes. Get a certified copy of your marriage license. That's one of those post wedding things that you have to do. Who's ever officiated your wedding, whether it's a, a, a notary or um, or your pastor or whomever, whoever signs it, uh, it has to be into in the state of Florida into the clerk's office ten day no no later than ten days afterwards. After so, the wedding, so that's something you can't forget because you can't that, forget to mail that off because that just complicates things. A good thing is to have an envelope. Have the when the person that's that married you the notary the pastor or whoever signs it and everything put it in the envelope and probably get it to a post office that day if possible if you can the sooner you get it there the less you have to the less you have to worry about it t break what's up man um because before you you're not going to be able to do any of the other stuff until you do that can't do any of the legal aspects of getting married until you have the official copy of your marriage license yeah make sure you make sure you have that um now if you're going if you're gonna need a passport to leave the country on your honeymoon use the passport you have yeah in just, your own name just use the passport you have um don't think that you have to have uh because the passport people know you as that person anyway so that's that's gonna be fine you don't need to change your name on your passport before you go you know uh you've already booked the trip you're good to go. Just go. But when you get back, make sure that you get a certified copy 
not a not a photocopy, but a certified copy of your marriage license. Because the certified copy will have the seal on it. The the, the, the tactile seal, mm -hmm. you'll feel it. Uh, do that because you can't do any of the other stuff. The second trip or the second thing you have to do is get your name changed. Oh, this is funny to us because it's funny to us. Get your name changed on um, your social security card. Your driver's license and your social security card. And in the state of Florida, and I think in most other states right now, you can't get your driver's license name changed unless you bring them a copy of your social security card and maybe your birth certificate or whatever. Um, I don't know how I got mine changed without the social before. Well, they've changed because they've changed because all they've changed, they've the changed all the rules. You had to like have a mm -hmm. now you have to have a blood test or whatever. I don't know what the heck. <laughs> uh, you have to have three forms of ID to change your ID, driver's license, your birth certificate, social security card, and uh, some kind of bill or something. Yeah, it was crazy. So, the last time you went to change your um, my driver's license, your driver's license to renew your driver's to license. renew my license. Um, we found out something that I failed 30 years ago doing. We didn't do. We didn't get that done. <laughs> we didn't change my social security card. My social security card had my Your birth name. name, yes, um, for 30 some years. Mm -hmm. So we had to go to that lovely. And if you're not dealing with the social security office, you don't think about it. Because most of us never deal with the social security office. Uh, most of us don't have to worry about Social Security until we're ready to, to retire or, or, or to draw Social Security or we're getting Social Security disability or something. We never have to deal with them. The, 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 it isn't like the IRS. We don't have to deal with the Social Security office. Um, but we I, I got my Social Security card finally changed. About two um, years ago. <laughs> that's something that you need to do right after getting married. Yeah. And... Um, and, and not to say that, you know, people never t told me. I don't I don't know how I never did it. I don't know. Just didn't seem all that important. Mm -hmm. Because cause you could... Because I never used my Social Security card because I've been at the same job <laughs> forever. So you, I never had to, to, to show a different name or anything we never like had that. To, it, 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 we never had to interface with those people. So that... Um, that's the deal. Uh, so make sure you get that. Make sure you get that done, um, and then and then you can go and, and, and change get your license, change your driver's though. license. Now the whole name aspect changing thing, you know, that's something that's today um, a lot of people aren't doing. Some people don't change their names, and it, there's also the aspect of whether the man changed their name or the woman changed their. It's it, and and it and it's and it's so different now because there's the same sex marriage thing and all of that going on. So people don't don't have to change their names. No, you don't have to take on your spouse's name or you know and stuff like the olden days. But what and and the and olden what, days wasn't thirty two years. And it changes every now and then because back. When my parents got married, you took your husband's name, point blank. You drop your whole name, your whole your 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 um maiden maiden name, and you went to what your husband's name was. And then doing, I think when our era came along, it was the the hyphenated thing because that's what I did. My name is Deborah Scott Lawson. You know, and and my my mom was a little upset. Well, why did you get rid of your middle name? Oh, I didn't, but my I kept my family name. Family name. And a lot of cultures, you know, and a lot of cultures, they have both them the, the the in their surname and their last name. They have both the father's name and the mother's name. Mm -hmm. Mother's last name. Yeah, that's a lot of. Uh, the uh, Hispanic, the, look, yeah, the, yeah, the Latin that. culture does the that. The Latin cu culture does that. They keep the father's and the mother's name, so take they take on both of those. So, so. when you see them on a driver's license, you, it's hard to know what their last name is. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> they have, they have their first, middle, 
their mother's last name, their father's last name. Yeah, so. you're like, sorry, uh, Jose, what is what is your name? <laughs> you seem to have 16 names here. What is, can I just call you Jose? Uh, so but that's their culture. That's, so different cultures do cultural different thing things. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, whatever you do, make sure that, uh, well, you, you take care do, of the legal That documents. you take care of all this other stuff. Um, and then, of course, post office stuff, name changes, you can actually go to the post office and get a little card or actually request a card from your post, um, from from the people who de deliver mail to you. They have them. So Postal if you, 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 yeah, your mail deliverer or whatever, leave a note for them and they'll give you the, the little change of name address card and they'll drop that off and you can just fill that out and actually just put it back in your mailbox. Um, so that's really easy to do. What's not easy to do is, like I said, out of my realm, so somebody else is going to talk about it. Um, <clears throat> the banking aspect. What are you going to do about the money? What are you going to do about setting up the money? I, I, I ain't getting into how y'all divide y'all money up and what y'all do. and, and I, But the banking aspect, aspect where are you going to put it? Mm -hmm. it? It's good to, to talk about this before the wedding, I think. <laughs> um, the financial parts of it, because that there's a lot of things that we when we got married, we didn't know our due. And it can make a, a, a conflict when it comes to paying bills and getting stuff paid on time. We, we were very naive. We we screwed up a lot of times that, you know, having money in the bank account and nobody paying the light bill, you come home, the lights are off. And we, I mean, the things happen when you're young and immature. You said no. Oh, you I don't thought, know. Oh, I thought. Oh, yeah. Well, I thought you were doing that. Well, I thought you were doing that. And, 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 and I tell you, it's super frustrating to have the money and not get the bill paid. It is very. It's like having a pocket full of money and running out of gas. <laughs> like, what the heck? Dumb. I got, you, did, you, did you have money for gas? But. Yes. I had $400 <laughs> in my pocket. And you ran out of gas? No excuse. No excuse. Dumb. <laughs> so. Best thing to do is sit down and go over the financial part of what you're going to do in your marriage. Um, who's going to have uh, the primary, going to be the primary on the account? You know, are we going to add you to my account or am I going to be added to your account? Or should we get another account? Or should we have just one account with the both of us? That is my suggestion, that you have... <laughs> You know, they, he keeps his account, you keep your account, and then you have a joint account. That's my suggestion to the deal. And one of you takes on the responsibility of paying certain bills. You know, one person can pay all the bills, or one person can pay this. You sit down and, and decide. You know, if, if the light bill is already in your name, and you're residing in the same house that he's already in, then it probably should just stay in his name <laughs> the, the, whatever the easiest aspect of it is that's the route to go yeah you know uh and, and and again depending on and depending on income it may just be easier for the person who has the um has the largest of incomes to take to take on some of the bigger bills, bigger or whatever, bills, bigger bills, mm -hmm. because they, because there's a chance there's a better chance that they'll get paid on time and they'll get paid in full and that kind of stuff, and the person with maybe the lesser income takes on some of the other um, niddly fiddly bills like the freaking cable bill or whatever or the um, the phone bill, phone bill, and and that, all kind, that stuff, and that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, and, and 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 be careful about drawing hard and fast lines about any of this stuff because when you draw hard and fast lines you sort of n n neglect the fact that sometimes crap happens you know mm -hmm. sometimes a car breaks down and you need to take that money for something else and yeah so and now you spent some of the money that you were going to spend on on, on the nickel fiddly bills or even the big bills and it has to go to somewhere else so um, it gets back to talking Having about a it. savings account. Yeah, and, and being able to talk about it and go, oh, yeah, you know, the car broke down, so I had to pay $150 to do this, so I'm going to be short on this. Can you? And then usually the answer is, yeah, we'll just we'll pay back and forth. And Switch then, some things back around. And then when things get back on an even keel, you go back to what you were doing. The, the main aspect of, of 
keeping uh, money situations and bank accounts straight, communication. You cannot do something and not tell your spouse. Yeah, don't buy a boat, even if it's a good deal. You cannot go out and buy account. a new car and not tell your spouse. You have a spouse now. So your money, this is what I always tell my husband. <laughs> my go. money is my money. His money is our money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But no, but all seriousness. You cannot make decisions about things and and on large items like cars and boats and and motorcycles and 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 can ams. I want a can am. <laughs> and, and and stuff like that. But I don't have without one. speaking to. <laughs> I don't have one. But without talking to your spouse about those things, and because you know, especially if she. Even if she's not contributing, if she's not working and she's a stay-at-home mom and you feel like, well, this money, I'm making the money, I can make the decisions. No, it's your money together and she needs to have a say-so. Yeah, I mean, especially in that situation. Um, if you want, you want, you want to make sure that, that you're both involved in what you're doing and, you, and you're not just, and especially if, you, if you're a guy, you're not just her father and you're just bring stuff home no. um, because it's going to it's going to affect the household so um, it is best that you both decide if you want I mean should you have a can uh, we've decided that we want a can am we do want one but, but our son says we can't have one <laughs> oh child you, says you think of no. you, you think we're kidding I'm not kidding <laughs> the boy says no motorcycles for y'all like, you know I'm 30 years older than you, right? <laughs> he says, yeah, okay. <laughs> He's not getting a motorcycle. No motorcycles for us. Our, our son says no motorcycles. But we'll see about that when we retire. Yeah, we don't have one now, though. That is that is for sure. We do not have a Can-Am now. And if you don't want a Can-Am, man, so look it up because it's the coolest thing ever. Yes, it would be nice. Yeah, it would be very nice. Um, but, you know what? I think the uh, the bank account thing. I think Debbie's solution about you, if you both have an account now, keep, keep your, it that way. Keep your accounts, and then come up with a joint account um, that you both that you both may pay into if you're going to pay bills out, out of that account, and that's fine. Uh, but talk about how you're going to do it, so there aren't so, so there aren't any surprises. Um, and without surprises, you probably won't have as much conflict. You won't have conflict, um, and. And assign one of you to be the person who is going to do Take it. Take care of the bills. Who's going to do it because, I mean, you don't want to have, I got it, I got it, you got it, oh, and then. And, and then, then the ball hits the okay, ground. Hits the ground. Between you. And you're in the dark. And it's both your fault because either one, especially if you have money in the account, because either one of you could have done it, but you just didn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, say, and you know what, whoever's best at it, let them do it. And it's not the fact that that person is in control of everything and mm -hmm. all of that, but they're just better at it. If they're better at it, let them They know it. when the bills are due, they know how to pay it, and it's done. I'm super blessed because Debbie works at the financial institution that we, that we have money in. And so she can see all that at the same time. So it's, it, is, it doesn't make any sense for me to hop in and go, oh, no, no, I'll, no, it's just dumb. That would be stupid. She, she sees all of it at the same time and can electronically take care of it, especially now, electronically take care of it. Um, the, the days where you sit down at the kitchen table and write out 44 checks. It's over. <sighs> well, for us. I You know, if that's your dig and you and it's better because I have friends that still do that. They sit down and they pay, they write their checks out and pay their bills and do it that way. If that works for you, do it. If you can keep control of your money that way, do it. But most people don't write checks anymore. No. And it it does help when it comes to um, having paper proof of stuff, but you can pull your statements and show that you paid something. You, mm -hmm. you, you have proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because you pay online doesn't mean, well, it's all gone. No proof. No proof I even did it. Well, that's not true. 
That's not true. And I know that some people aren't, aren't adept at that kind of stuff. Um, but almost everywhere now, including your bills like your water bill and, and that kind of stuff. Everything can be uh, paid your online. Your bill can, can, can be paid online. I kind of wonder about places that don't take payments online. You're like, eh, a little, a little, a little, a little shady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I'm business with you. If, 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 you know, if, 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 you're if I can't pay you with, on my phone. I don't know if I want to do business with you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Some of you are like, what? What? That's the truth, though. Uh, that's how we feel. That's just how we feel. All right. Um, yeah, we got to get out of here soon. Yeah, yeah. It's almost 10 o'clock. We have to go. But um, the, we, I want to go a little deeper and further with the aspect of finances. And so you'll do that on your separate video, <laughs> which I will set up and then go get coffee. <laughs> and we, and we can person. talk about that uh, later. But we do need to do a financial aspect, and and because mar it, a lot of marriages fail because of money. Yeah, more uh, yeah, more marriages get, you know, people end up in divorce over money more than they do over infidelity. It's sad, because that to me, that's the most. The, the easiest part. I mean, money you can money you can you can, you can save make and make more of. You can you can do that. Money money issues can be fixed. But issues of the heart. That's that's, that's, that, story. that's a lot deeper. That's a lot deeper. So, um, work on the stuff you can. Do the best with the stuff you can. Again, congratulations. You're married. Do this stuff What's first. Do this stuff first. And um, till we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And congratulations. And congratulations to the Johnsons. Ooh, love y'all. Um, we're going to check up on you. Yeah, we're watching you from here. I can see you from here. <laughs> um, in any case, so we're, uh, we, again, until we see you again, go out there and learn, learn something, love somebody. And for the goodness sake, take care of each, each other and yourself. And don't never forget, forget, never forget, we love you. And, and there's, there's nothing, nothing you can do about, about it. it. Love you. Peace. Peace.